here we go. Lilith time. We are on Jaguar Falls Beyond. Interesting name for that. I didn't realize they renamed those. <laughs> That's how little I play Siege Beyond. I didn't even notice that until now. But yeah, hopefully, hopefully this will be fun. Now, of course, since this is Siege Beyond, <laughs> I'm prepared to be like, oh, I need to look out for this new item store that I hate. But I don't have to worry about that anymore. So we we get to experience this payload, hopefully with the original item store that we know and love so well. And yeah, this first cap is going to be just completely normal. You're not going to notice anything different. But yeah, once we get to pushing the payload, like I want to see how effectively can I heal it as a healer? How effectively can I damage it if they end up capping it? And what's it like to capture those other points in order to repair the payload? Like that's all, it's all going to be very interesting. Um, I'm not main healing, so I'm not sure if Ardamba is going to go damage or not. I hope he does because I don't want to play damage Lilith. Um, I could kind of go hybrid and like Maelstrom of Carnage weirdness, but I don't even know how good Maelstrom of Carnage is, and they have a Betty, so I feel like I shouldn't be grouping up with my teammates. So I'll go Curse of the Cord, and we'll go for my HP build, which gives me a bunch of extra health and extra healing per tick on my allies to hopefully make up for the fact that we have our swarm being nerfed. Why is everything green? Am I going crazy, or does this have like a greener... Hue to it. Am I, am I tripping? Am I tripping right now? I feel like I'm tripping. I don't know. Um, okay. Here. Take a swarm. Take a hex. That went to Barrack for some reason. Alright, I'll put the swarm on Bomb King instead. Oh, can they stack now? Oh, I can have multiple swarms out at the same time. Oh. Interesting. That's something I never really noticed because they always expired so fast. <laughs> Alright. Let's move the Hex to our barrack, make sure that my self-sustain is still going excellently. And let me get a Swarm in here. There you go. And there's another one. I'm going to move my Hex to Zin, keep my self-sustain going. We need to put another Swarm on the point. Stop dying, Kana! Please! Please! I beg of you! I'm going to get a Swarm right here on the point. And he's looking healthy, but i got to move back over here and give a Hex out, so that way I can make sure that my self-sustain is still going. Did they change it so that... It resets now? I think they did. I think they made that change Vex was talking about, like, it should reset every time you move it to a different ally. Let me try that. Yeah, it did. It does reset now. Oh, interesting. Okay. Well, that's good to know. So it's going to be harder for me to sustain myself now. Blood Moon rises. Things are looking weird. All right. Do you have the colorblind filter on for some reason? I don't think I do. Because, like, we went to the shooting range earlier and it was fine. And everything else looks normal. Hmm. Alright, let's do one of these. Let's go for a Blood Moon. There you go. I'm gonna throw a Swarm down. I'm gonna put my Hex back on the Barrack. Hopefully that got to him in time, but I don't know if it'll be enough to sustain him. Oh gosh. Here, take another one of these. I'm probably dead. Ooh, rest in peace you. I can't put a Swarm down right now! Oh, I'm just gonna have to die. I'm just gonna have to die. Oh no. That was a bug when another change was made, that the heals you got not reset on a new mark. Ah, so that was a bug that got fixed. I see, interesting. Um, video settings... Yeah, I don't have any colorblind mode on. I'm not tripping, am I? Anyways, there's the payload, and we can see how healthy it is right now. Nice little indicator on that, and if we shoot it... Well, I, I would like to shoot it, but Inara said no. How much damage do we do when we shoot it? 469. So we do full damage to the cart, interestingly enough. And yeah, it stopped. So now they need to capture one of those two points. One of them is green and one of them is yellow, and I don't understand why. But that's something we've got to learn, because this is literally my first game of Siege Beyond ever. Uh, with this new schism, so... Yeah, we just got to contest them. So if we stand on this, the capture progress doesn't go down. Is there a teleporter here? What's this blue thing? It looks like a portal that I'm supposed to go through, but I can't go through it, so I guess I'll just not worry about it. But they're capturing that now, and they've got the payload back up and functioning again. And I'm doing, like, no damage to this. But it's moving really slowly because we have enemies near it, so... Yeah, that swarm is, like, barely doing any damage to it. Wow. Interesting. And yeah, it's pushed really far as well, by the way. Like, we're a minute into this defense, and it's already over here. Yeah, we are quickly, quickly destroying it now, which is nice. It's nice that as a support, I just have a nice stationary thing that I can just spam shots into. Yeah, now they have to capture those spots again in order to get the payload back up and moving. 
I really want to see what it's like to try and push the payload, but it's nice that we get to try and defend as well. Uh, let's run another swarm down. I'll move the mark to you. And you know what? Let's go for a blood move now. Here we go. Lady Liberty reigns. Well, guess what? Lady Liberty can't out-heal or out-damage my healing. Haha! -ha. Get wrecked. And they're not capturing either objective right now, which is amazing. Because that payload is just not moving. And if they don't go capture it, then hey, we just defend. I assume there's no overtime unless someone is on those objectives. Or unless the payload is moving. That's, that's my assumption. But again, we'll, we'll have to see. Um, I accidentally moved my hex to Jamba for some reason. Okay. Well, then you might be dead. Never mind, you have Billow. Alright, you're healthy, you're healthy. Just keep throwing swarms down. They are going over and capturing the green one now, it looks like. Okay, there is overtime. I assume it's because one of them are capturing it. And yeah, they did capture it, so we've got to shoot this payload now. And I'm doing so little damage to that. That's weird. That's really weird. Like, look at my swarm ticks. 17 damage. <laughs> All right. Let's make sure we're healing our dumb. I'm going to move the Hex back to our barrack. Just because he's kind of in the front. and we'll put a swarm down. And now this one's doing more damage. So does it have a bunch of damage reduction, but then it loses damage reduction as you destroy it? Is that how that works? Maybe? I don't know. Either way, we defended it. Hey, look at that. It just completely collapsed in on itself, and there's the defense. That's cool. That's a cool little animation right there. How do you heal the cart? I assume you just use healing abilities on it, but we have to figure that out. Um, if we can actually capture the objective here. And those two capture icons are still on the screen. I'm not entirely sure why. I feel like that's probably a bug. Maybe. Let me see. Let me get more veteran. Here we go. Veteran 3. Let's go Haven. And yeah, we are just a 4,300 health support right now. Hey, this looks fair and balanced, by the way. All right, let's do a Blood Moon here. Uh, we got Damba Ult coming out. I'm going to try and keep our Barrack alive to the best of my ability. I want to cap this so badly, just so I can see what it's like to push. So, also, yeah, this new Fire Rate. Oh, this Fire Rate feels so much smoother. So much smoother now. It's amazing. Like, I feel like I can actually hit targets now. <laughs> Without just my shots going weirdly and, like, having all sorts of weird delays and stuff. Like, just making it uniform, like, with other similar weapons that have a one-second fire rate. I feel like that's just the right call. I like that. I like the change a lot. Damba stepped into the light, but he didn't perish. Wow, what is this, a crappy support? Freaking Genos? You disgust me, Genos player. Or actually, Genos. Genos disgusts me. Genos players don't disgust me. Genos, though? Icky. Icky disgusting. Yiki, never want to speak to him again. Uh, here's a swarm. I'll throw that down. I just feel like I have to spam this swarm still so much. Even though it does have a longer duration now. It's just like, I really got to be using this ability a lot. But there we go, we capped it. Nice! So now, if we stand near the payload, it'll move faster. But of course, if the enemy stay near the payload, then it'll move slower. And I want to see what it's like to capture the objectives and like just keep this alive. So if I put this down... Also, I heal it, but look at the healing. Look at the healing numbers. This is a full charged... Oh, well, I guess it's 100% now, so we can't really see how effective that is, but... Yeah. And look, I can leave this payload. Don't believe the payload. Don't believe the payload. I'm trying to demonstrate here. We can leave the payload, and it'll just keep cruising along, basically. Um, but we're doing a poor job of demonstrating that. <laughs> uh, Alright, let me try and heal this again. So let's do a max charge swarm on the payload. And that's only healing for 54 ticks. So there's like 75% cauterize on that, or something like that. Which is really interesting. Or I guess I shouldn't say cauterize, because I don't know if the payload can actually be cauterized by weapon shots. Like, if they shoot the payload... Ooh, ooh, ow, ooh, ow. Hey, here, take this hex. I'm going to stand here in the corner. Um, that's not good. Um, that's not good! No! <laughs> but, like, if they shoot it, does it get cauterized even further? I don't know. I don't know. Let's see. Let's get Haven 2. Try and head back out. Andrew, you have a dev on chat? You can ask him? I do, but I can also just figure it out for myself. <laughs> I'm a strong, independent Paladins content creator. I don't need no dev. Ah. Yeah, we really beat the system there, didn't we? Yeah. Here, Ghana, take this. <laughs> Let's see. Oh. I mean, why, why should I ever care about a Genesult as a little? I have 4,000 HP, bro. Alright, let me ult real quick. I'm going to give my teammates this lifesteal and stuff. And... Ooh, the payload's back up and running again. So I want to get near it and I want to throw it on a swarm. 
I might be inting right now. I might be feeding, but I want to try it. Also, I can't hex the payload. So if we put that down, 25 per tick. I don't know if they're shooting it right now, but that's not getting cauterized. That's all I wanted to see. Is there cauterized numbers on that or not? Doesn't look like it gets cauterized, but it just has that base healing reduction, no matter what. You didn't work on this mode, so you don't remember how caught works on it? Okay. See, look, the dev doesn't even know. Ha! Huh. Screw you, Metal Dev. <laughs> Why am I being mean to viewers? What's, what's gotten into me? I'm sorry. Here, have a thing. There we go, you're looking healthy. So I assume that because our barrack is on the capture point right now, we're going to go into overtime. I assume, I assume. Yes, we do. Okay, that's good to know. Um, let me give my hex to you. Unfortunately, our is dead. We're kind of spread out onto two different objectives right now. Um, which probably is not a good idea. But there we go, we got the payload back up and running again. Why is the overtime ticking down? Why is the overtime ticking down even though the payload's up? Okay, well, it's down to 0% HP again, and the push has failed. Now, I really wish I knew what the difference was between the orange and the green. Because these both clearly have different icons. And I'm not sure, like, what they do. So... Yeah. <laughs> Lifelink Luna can now push Payload. Hey, Luna being the sixth member of the team, finally back again. Yo, let's go. Let's go. Also, did anyone chat say anything about the green hue that I'm seeing? I feel like I saw the message really quickly, but I didn't read it in time. Um, Thrix has said something about having a change to Jaguar Falls, having more trees and green stuff a couple of hours ago. Ah, I see. So basically, I'm not going crazy. They're just doing weird stuff. Okay. The Siege is so good. Yeah, the Siege is like a refreshing, just interesting take on the game mode. I'm, I'm already having a lot more fun than I am with the, uh, the other item store, which is nice. But yeah, I just need more information. I need to know like what the difference is between those two capture points. And then I feel like we'll be good. <laughs> then I feel like we'll be we'll be having fun. Like once we learn like what the strategy is with that. Also, Kane, here you go, have a mark. I think I can put a swarm on point here safely without dying. But an R is one. There we go. She's dead. Nice. Um, I meant to put a mark on BK, but he was just too far away. I'm really noticing that range nerf. Uh, I'll throw another one of those out, and I just need to heal myself. So let's throw a mark on you. I'll give you a swarm real quick. There you go. Also, three is slightly bigger. It's about objective size. I feel like that's all right. Also, I'm going to take that bomb to the face, but it's fine because I'm Lilith. I am simply the second tank on our team. Whoa! All right, we're fine. Give the uh, Hex to you. That did not give Hex to you? Why did that not give Hex to you? Okay, take this. It's just us alive right now. You should be fine. And yeah, honestly, they're probably going to cap it right now. Which is cool. We get a, we get another chance of defending. I'm not mad about that. I don't care about winning or losing in this game mode right now, because we're just here to see what it's like, you know? Orange is you can get a damage buff near the cart, and green is you get less damage near the cart. Oh, interesting. So... The cart kind of gains a passive aura that either makes you tankier or makes you do more damage. Ah, that's cool. Also, what is this Anara doing behind us? No, Damba! No, Damba! No, buddy! Oh, I'm sorry. Um, Alright, I guess I'll just go up here. Anara can't kill me because I'm Lilith. That's cool. I should have hexed her, actually. What am I doing? Okay, nice stun. Nice stun, Bozo. Guess what? I'm just still, I'm just still gonna kill you. I'm a tank, bro. This is a tank fight. You don't win this. It's not like you're pushing any other support. You're pushing the We appreciate the, the dev's hard work around here. <laughs> this new <laughs> mode looks really fun, and fixing all these bugs and everything is appreciated. Yeah, of course. They're not perfect, and they can't always do everything we want them to, and they can't fix every bug in the world, but at least they're trying. I do appreciate that, yes. And this new game mode is really cool. <laughs> I, I love this way more than the, uh, the other Siege Beyond. The cart shouldn't do damage, it had an explosion, but that was disabled. Ah, interesting. So the cart itself doesn't do damage, then. Okay, um... Oh yeah, we kind of need to shoot this, don't we? <laughs> I was like, oh, the enemies aren't here, but yeah, the cart is moving. Very slowly, but it's moving, it's moving. Hey, BK, let me give you a hex, there you go, you should be fine. Let's just lay into this. So I assume that might be, that might have been why my damage was doing less damage, then. Because they kept they capped the uh, the green one was the damage reduction, right? So they must have capped that, and that's why my shots weren't doing as much. Maybe, I think. Because yeah, my 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 shots are barely doing damage right now. 
But I don't know if that's a feature of the base one, like the base just payload, that's how it works, or if it's actually like that specific thing. Again, it's my first time playing this one, so. Confusion is expected and mandated and required, and I missed that swarm on Barrick, but it's fine. He's getting healed. Halo's getting recharged again. Uh, Betty, stop it. I could use ult, but honestly, I think I'll save it. Oh, I killed her! Hey, alright. Didn't think I'd hit that shot, but I didn't. Nice. Let's give a hex to the BK. Yeah, we gotta shoot this payload again. Yeah, so I'm... Okay, so I was, like, not getting damage reduction at all, so they must have capped the orange one now. Because, yeah, my shots were doing damage off the get-go, so that looks like, yeah, that's that feature then. Which means we gotta be careful <laughs> if they shoot us. But there we go, we defended, we destroyed the cart. Nice, nice. This is really cool. This is really, really cool. I feel like the overtime is still a little bit wonky. Like when we were pushing and the cart was up, but the overtime was still going down. I feel like that was a bit wonky. And obviously these two capture points being on the screen right now when they shouldn't is also, I think, a bug. But I'm, 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 I'm liking this. I'm willing to give this more of a good shot. You know, keep keep playing this mode. Try some other characters. and Sounds nice. <laughs> Car could possibly kill everyone within radius if people were low enough. Yeah, if I did damage. <laughs> it used to do like 500 or something when it died. Ooh, like every time it got taken down. Oh, yikes. Wow. <laughs> when a cart responds, that does 80% DR, Andrew, to prevent people from camp killing it? Oh. Okay, so it's just like, is it a set amount of time then? Oh. Interesting. So everything I just said was wrong. Big set. <laughs> Uh, here you go, BK. Take this. I'm gonna give the hex to you as well. Hopefully, you just live. Hopefully, you just live through this. And I'm gonna ult now, just cause I can. Kana, stop dying. Hey, hey, get back on the point. There's a swarm there. You should be healthy. I'm gonna try and go after their Lilith because she looks low right now. And there we go. She's dead. This, yeah, this fire rate. Honestly, probably my favorite change for Lilith. <laughs> this fire rate change. Oh, Barrick. Oh, Barrick. Here you go. Ah, uh, I'm probably gonna die. I'm probably gonna die. I'm not self-sustaining. I have no blood magic. No blood health. Big sad. Uh, we need to group up. Let's get Haven 3. Let's get some Master Riding. I don't think we'll be able to win this. It's possible, but like... Yeah, I don't know. It doesn't seem super viable. That's alright, though. Like, again, we're just here to mess around. Hello. Well, there we go. You're dead. Nice. Uh, I did manage to give the mark to our Zin successfully, but he's dead. I'm gonna try and just get on point. Oh, I wanted to hex our barrack, but he ran away. Yeah. Oh, it's out of range. That hex range. Yeah, it's definitely much smaller. And yeah, we're probably gonna lose this here. I don't think our barrack can 1v3. Yeah. Or 3v5 or whatever I wanted to say. I mean, he's still alive, but... I don't know how much longer he can hold that. Yeah, he dies just before I get to him. Unfortunate. GG. Yeah, for some set time, or for some set amount of time, and then the DR wears off. Okay, so it's a time-based thing. Okay. Okay, so that's cool. So then I'm guessing the damage reduction or the damage increase of the payload doesn't affect the payload itself, then? Or would it still be wise to capture the green one to give the payload just base DR? Those bonuses are for people in the cart range, not the cart itself. Okay, okay. That's interesting. So that's, that's really good to know, then. So the payload... When it respawns, you have 80% DR for... Do you know the exact amount of time? Is it like 5, 10 seconds, something like that? Um, Because the amount of time would be helpful. And then depending on which circle you cap, if you cap the green one, you get DR. Like your teammates get DR around the payload. And if you cap the orange one, you get increased damage around the payload. You don't know the time? Oh, unfortunate. It seemed like at least around 5 seconds. But that's just my speculation. Anyways, real quick, let's take a look at the stats. So both Liliths managed to get top healing in the lobby, and I did 51,000 damage. That was a pretty high damage round, but of course it was a 19-minute game. And yeah, I didn't get very many kills, neither did, neither did their Lilith. But the rest of their DPS simply did better than ours. So yeah, they got more kills. Even the Genos pitched in there and got some kills. He was going Luminary, actually, not Binary Star. But still managed to pick off 11 of them. So good job on him, I guess. 
And yeah, that was just a cool first experience with Siege Beyond. <laughs> but anyways, if you guys have enjoyed, then make sure to drop a like, subscribe, and turn on notifications so you never miss an upload from me. Also, make sure to check out my Twitch channel. I stream regularly on Twitch, so if you want to see me play live, or you just want to ask me some questions, hang out, or even get a chance to play my party, then go check me out on Twitch. Also, make sure to check out my Discord server. We have a wonderful active community of people who play Paladins, so if you want to go make some friends, Discord is the place to be. But anyways, I'll see you guys next time. Peace out. Hey.